In this video, we're going to perform a pressure calibration to a heart transmitter using the Fluke 729 automatic pressure calibrator. So to get things connected up, you've got your 40 20 milliamp jacks going between the Fluke 729 and the pressure transmitter, as well as connecting the pressure line uh, between the two devices. Next thing you want to do is you want to zero out the calibrator and then press the heart button to set things up. Two things you want to do here is you want to enable the heart 250 ohm resistor, press F3 and then press F2 to turn on loop power. Once the connection has been made you'll see the uh, device ID name, tag ID name of the device and just press F4 to continue. Now the 729 is reading the information off the transmitter. Uh, on this screen, we're just going to go ahead and press number three to do an ad hoc calibration. Notice the uh, Fluke 729 has automatically selected uh, pressure to current uh, calibration task, as well as setting up the uh, source pressure and 40 to 20 output. So we know that it's 0 to 100 PSI. Press F4 to continue. Now we have the uh, tolerance defaulted to 0 0.2. You can change that to whatever you want. Um, test strategy uh, right now is set for uh, 3 up, but you could change that to a number of different uh, uh, preset uh, calibration strategy test points. Again, we're going to select 3 up. Auto settling time, five seconds. That means it's going to wait five seconds to settle before taking a reading at each set point. And then the auto transfer function uh, will set for linear. It could also be square root. Press F4 to continue. And now we'll just press auto test and let the 729 do its calibration. So in the three up test, it'll start at zero take that 4 milliamp reading and then move up to 50 PSI, do the same thing. Notice when it gets up close to the 50 PSI test point, it'll stop and let the uh, automatic internal regulator uh, fine tune automatically and hold steady at that 50 PSI test point. Once it stabilizes and takes that reading, it'll then move on to the 100 PSI test point. Once pressure is stabilized at 100 PSI, uh, the 729 will document the 4 to 20 output. And uh, notice everything is pretty green here, and that means it's uh, going to pass. So once it completes, it'll show you the test results, and it has indeed passed. Um, at this point, uh, we have finished the calibration. If it was out of spec, we'd have to make adjustments and then do an as left, but the SAS found is good. So Press F4 for done. Notice it already knows the tag ID. It knows the serial number that's automatically entered. Uh, you can go down and select a uh, different user ID uh, by the user list uh, or um, just by manually entering the information. Once you've completed that, you'll notice uh, you're at the screen where you can select if you want to make adjustments through heart, uh, go to as left, or if you're done. Uh, since the calibration was successful, we are completed on this test. So we'll press F4 for done. And those test results are now ready to be uploaded into software uh, such as DPC Track 2 or Pro Cal V5.